going on guys welcome back to a brand new news video today what i have for you guys is we're gonna go over the new modern warfare 3 information that just dropped we have the aftermarket parts new gunsmith ui a new menu so much more to go over i also have footage to showcase with you guys and on top of that the entire modern warfare 3 weapons list has been leaked so i'm gonna go through every single weapon and showcase that for you guys so you know exactly what to expect with mw3 if you find the video informative or helpful do not forget to hit that subscribe button you always stay up to date with the latest call of duty news and updates but anyway Anyways, let's go ahead let's get into it so call of duty ended up dropping this short video covering the aftermarket parts and the intel the very first thing that i noticed in this is the brand new ui or i guess the menu changes that they have made it is very similar and looks very familiar to the same way that mw2 has it where you have the build weapon you have all the different loadouts you can see laser optics stock rear grip the mag the ammunition trigger action muzzle all that stuff is exactly the same. Putting on the attachments has not changed from MW2. It's exactly identical. Everything looks the same. The only thing that I noticed was different was probably the text. It's just instead of green, it's now a blue color. And maybe the font is a little bit different. But the tuning is probably going to be exactly the same. You can see the same way that the weapon looks and everything like that. The only changes are minor. And it's like maybe the background and things like that. So I end up showing the next page of it. And this is for the weapon. You can see the weapon level at the very top. It says aftermarket parts. So this is a new tab that we have but the tab looks very familiar because it copies that same mw2 style the only thing that's different once again is the background the font is a little bit different it has aftermarket parts you have the pros it says allows for tactical stance bullet velocity and range rate of fire full auto fire then the cons is mobility and handling and the recoil control you can see the weapon in the top right looks a little bit different than the standard mw2 weapons that we see you also have the attachment says full auto carbine conversion equipped and then you have the round the damage the fire rate all that standard detailed stats you see towards the bottom so once again very very similar to modern warfare 3 with very minor changes involved here but this next short clip they show this in game so you can see what it looks like the quality has improved i mean i can't tell that it does look a lot better than the modern warfare 2 quality obviously this is a cinematic so it's not necessarily gameplay in itself but even the cinematics for mw2 didn't look this nice you can see the gun glowing you can see uh, you know the specs the tiniest little Little details and they also go on to show the animation the animation is also very similar to how modern warfare 2's look you can also see that they have the same types of the vehicle in the background so they didn't really change all that much necessarily but you can see that the quality once again has been improved but this is what the clips that we ended up getting look like let's talk about what the aftermarket parts are and what this brand new feature that we're getting in the game actually is this is called aftermarket parts now what aftermarket parts does is it remixes your weapons it custom customizes them and changes them so say it'll change a pistol into an smg or maybe even as crazy as a pistol to an ar that's what it does it's sort of like how we ended up seeing with the x13 pistol how that ended up getting changed to an smg with the change of an attachment it's very similar to that although it's not attachment based but it's more of a customizing remixing type of ability in this intel drop they gave us two examples you can see that the pistol starts off as being just a regular standard pistol you can put on any regular attachments that you want to it and then there's the aftermarket part to it and that actually turns it into a straight up smg or a carbine kit type of weapon and that's what it looks like so it looks completely different it looks like a brand new weapon in itself and that's the whole goal of this is if there's 30 different weapons in mw three think of it with this remixing and these aftermarket parts there's actually going to be a total of 60 weapons so if you are a fan of say the ump 45 and you really love that weapon you can add actually aftermarket parts to it and turn it into something else another example that they ended up showing us is they had a light machine gun which was a standard obviously light machine guns have a slower fire rate they were a lot more powerful that same weapon was actually transformed into a bullpup assault rifle with a much faster fire rate and it looked a lot smaller. So this is what the aftermarket parts are meant to be doing to change and customize weapons. So if you don't like the LMG in the way that it looks like an LMG, you can change it up and turn it into an AR and maybe you'll like that one a little bit more. So possibilities are endless. You can never say that you don't like a particular weapon because if you don't like it, you can always add aftermarket parts to it and that can evolve it into a weapon that you could potentially enjoy and actually like which I feel like is a good feature. So for those weapons that people don't touch, for example, like the M16, no one ever uses that weapon. Maybe people are going to start using it because the aftermarket part for it is going to look a lot better. But other than that, let's 
talk about all the upcoming weapons lists that we ended up getting leaked. Bob Network ended up posting this list. He said the Jupiter platform is JP, CP is going to be cross platform, is in regard to the weapon platforms. And then he said, therefore, JP01 is going to have the HK G36 AR, the HK SL8 DMR, the HK MG36 LMG. Then the JP02 is going to have the CZ Bren 805 AR, the CZ Scorpion Evo 2, the CZ Bren 2 BR, the CZ Bren 2 DMR, and then you have the Beretta ARX 160, the Beretta PMX, the Beretta ARX 200. For the JP04, you have the LWRC SMG45, you have the HK UMP. Some popular weapons such as like the UMP45 are making their way back. Then you have the FNF2000 AR, you have the PKP LMG, you have the Uzi Pro, the Uzi SMG, as well as the Micro Uzi, which they showed in the clip. And then they also have the QJB97 LSW, you have the Origin 12, you have the KDEX CDX50 Tremor, you have the Beretta M93R pistol, you have the SVK DMR, the SVCHSR, and then you have the JP14 RSH12 pistol. You also have the Remington Model 870 SG, you have the HS.50SR, you have the JP19 Remington ACR, the Bushmaster ACR, the ACR DMR, so we do know that the ACR is coming back. You also have a regular knife. You have the IWI Tavar 95 AR. You have the N32 MGL launcher, the cluster launcher, as well as the cluster 32 launcher. You have the Boscar SR, and then you have the AN94 AR, which is going to be making a return as well. You also have the Colt model SAR9 SMG. For CP05, you have the Halfa SMG, and then you also have the Sigsor XM5 for CP08 AR, and then you also have the Glock 21 pistol. So these are an entire list of weapons that were found in the files for Modern Warfare 2 in terms of upcoming weapons. Some of them are going to be available in the beta. The rest of them are going to be locked out, and you have to wait until the full release of Modern Warfare 3 to see the the rest of these weapons but based on this weapon list based on these aftermarket parts do you think that this is going to be a good feature to add to modern warfare 3 or do you think this will just cause a lot of confusion obviously it's going to be hard i know the tuning of weapons is already confusing as it is so on top of that having these aftermarket parts might throw in a whole lot more confusion there's still a whole lot of other brand new features and new things that are going to be coming in that are going to be very, very different to Modern Warfare 2. So people saying that it's basically a DLC. You can't say that, but at the same time, there's going to be so much changes involved that it does already feel like a brand new Call of Duty title. So what are your thoughts and opinions on this? Are you excited for the launch of MW3? Do you think that the beta will have a lot to offer us this time around? This beta is going to be starting this weekend. Also, don't forget Call of Duty Next is just in three days where they're going to show us some live gameplay. They're going to give us a gameplay trailer and we're going to get to see everything that they've been talking about and how hyping up thus far so that's all that i got for you guys in today's video if you found the video informative and helpful don't forget to hit that subscribe button and i'll keep you up to date on the latest call of duty news and updates but it's been your boy Trento. i hope i'll be seeing you guys again peace